Hello everybody and welcome to another summertime episode of Speakeasy Cocktails, where I teach you how to make some of the most refreshing cocktails that history left behind. I'm your host Joe the Bartender, and today I'm going to teach you all about the St. Croix Rum Fix. Before we get into the fix, we need to understand cocktail templates. Templates are a formula of sorts for a cocktail. Let's take a look at the margarita. There are hundreds of variants to the margarita, yet they're all still called the margarita. How is that really possible? Well, cocktail templates lay the foundation for making drinks. The margarita template is simple, tequila, lime juice, and salt. So any drink that comes from all three of those ingredients is technically part of the margarita template. The reason you can go to two different bars and order two different margaritas and have the recipes be entirely different is because they both follow the margarita template. There are dozens of popular templates around today, like the sling, the fizz, or even the julep. While many of these templates are still used, a lot fell to the wayside. Today, I want to teach you about The Fix. The Fix first appeared in Jerry Thomas's 1862 book, How to Mix Drinks or the Bon Voyant's Companion, which many hail as the first ever official bar guide. Shortly after this book, dozens of other books were printed with various versions of A Fix. The cocktail was pretty simple. Spirits, juice, water, sugar, maybe a little bit of ice. And they were wildly popular for a little bit. Then, when the 18th century passed on, so did The Fix. Almost overnight, no bars serve fixes anymore. They didn't even last 38 years. And today, you'd be hard pressed to find any cocktail book that contained one. Some cocktail historians say the liberal definition of the fix is what killed it. The first book listed two identical fixes, but with different spirits. One with gin and the other with brandy. And due to the nature of those two spirits, both evolved in vastly different ways. Some bartenders changed the water to seltzer. Others traded the sugar for flavored syrups. So, after about a decade, there were dozens of fixes floating around. Since most of the ingredients remained unchanged from the initial fix, everyone claimed they were still called fixes, which led to confusion as to what exactly is a fix. Shortly after that, the pre-prohibition temperance era was in full effect, and many cocktails lost traction, and that led to the downfall of a lot of promising templates such as the fix. And that's a real shame, because fixes had amazing potential. Today, I'm going to be teaching you about the most refreshing summer fix, the 1884 St. Croix Rum Fix. It's sweet, refreshing, and delicious. The pineapple syrup perfectly complements the rum, and the lemon juice prevents it from being overly sweet, making this cocktail ideal for a hot summer day. Time for my favorite part, making the drink. To make this cocktail, you're going to need the following things. Rum. Gold rum from St. Croix is called for, but any gold rum will do in a pinch. Pineapple syrup. This can be bought or easily made at home. There is a recipe link in the description. A lemon, medium sized for juicing. And sugar. Simple syrup works if you feel like not using sugar. A good thing about this recipe is it's really, really easy. So start off by grabbing your tumbler and tossing in two ounces of gold rum. Any gold rum works, but the recipe originally calls for rum from St. Croix. After that, you're gonna to wanna to add half an ounce of pineapple syrup, which is easily purchased online, but if you can't find any, there's a recipe link in the description. After that, squeeze in the juice of half of a lemon. If you're using pre-squeezed, half an ounce to three-fourths an ounce is ideal. After that, you want to use two teaspoons of sugar. A bar spoon is exactly one teaspoon, so it makes a great measure. Then you just want to go ahead and stir it until the sugar fully dissolves. It, it might take a little while. Once the sugar is dissolved, go ahead and grab a goblet or any sort of glass you'd like and fill it with shaved ice. Once the ice is in the glass, just go ahead and pour the rum combination over the top of the ice. And then you wanna garnish it with seasonal fruits. Today, since it's summer, I'll be using a strawberry. And there you have it, the St. Croix Rum Fix. Until next time, I'm your host, Joe the Bartender, and I'll see you in the speakeasies. Ridiculously good.